Our children are a trophy. They are a trophy. Psalm 127.3 says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. One guy said that the psalmic portrayal also calls children a reward, not a curse, not a tragedy, not an accident. They are the expression of God's favor. It is thrilling sight. It is a thrilling sight to see your children through the lens of Scripture as His trophies. Oftentimes I hear this, that, oh, I've got my kids to think about. They say it so pathetically. It should be, I have my kids that I have to think about. It's not, boy, look at, I have a, I have a, a, a ball on my leg and I gotta drag my kids around everywhere I go. You say, these are my trophies from God. This is, this is my reward. So number one, your kids are a trophy, and number two, your wife is a blessing. Now, I could say some things about some husbands being a blessing, potentially, not found in the Bible. <laughs> I could make something up. Here's the reality. Your wife is a blessing. Your wife is a blessing. Proverbs 18.22 says, Whoso, fi Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor. That's a blessing, by the way, of the Lord. In the world, I have heard so I, I, I have heard so many times people say, "Yeah, but I gotta I gotta deal with my wife." No different than the kids' statement. I gotta go home to my wife. They they, they call their wife um, the old lady. Don't call your wife an old lady. Even if she's an old lady, you call her a young lady. Okay, I know that's lying, but still call her a young lady because she's young compared to some. So that's not really lying. Love your wife. Love your wife. Listen, you have you men who have a wife have, have a blessing from God. She, she's, she's not an accident. She's not uh, the ball and chain. She's your wife. And you should love her as your wife. I tell people, I say, my wife is my best friend. There's nobody in the world I would rather spend time with than my wife. Nobody. Not even my kids. I love my kids. I love spending time with them. I want to spend time with my wife more than anybody else. She is my best friend. I don't have any best friends except my wife. Where I go, she goes, generally speaking. This isn't a punishment. Your wife is not a, a punishment from God. It's a blessing. Ecclesiastes 9.9 9 says this, Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life, of thy vanity which he hath given thee under the sun. Live joyfully with your wife. How many times is there a, a conflict between a husband and a wife? And I say, that's a tragedy. We should live joyfully with our spouses. I don't think it's an accident that verse 10 follows verse 9, by the way. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. I don't think that's there by accident. Whatever you find to do, when you're loving your wife, you do it with all of your might. That's how we ought to love our wives. And, and wives, there's a, there is a message here for you too. We don't have time. But you need to love your husbands too, by the way. And this is, this is good for all of us. What we have is we have a reward from God. We have a blessing from God. And we need to honor God with our families. We need to honor God with our families. We don't live for our families. Our families should live for God. One person said this, a great way to put it. We do not live to glorify our families. Our families live to glorify God in this generation and each one to come. That is the purpose of our family. Our family within the context of a right relationship and understanding the right perspective that they are a reward from God, we ought to glorify God with our families. Mm -hmm.